the login logout and the registration with the database now we are going to see how the filters and the listeners are going to work so if you want to restrict some resources cannot be accessed by all the users due to some security reason then you can use the filters just say app filter i don't want to use this uh, web.xml mapping i will use the annotations at web filter you can make some the urls app slash slash app slash you have the init params here url patterns i will take the url pattern app slash uh, something like uh, list f slash list in the patterns you can also mention like this multiple urls so this is mean uh, you, we are going to restrict the we are going to do the extra validation or whenever the user is going to request these kinds of URLs like when they want to see the list of users and all. This out. Inside the filter. Filters are made, uh, as I told you, it will be best used for the security reasons. So let's see. Later, we will create one more uh, servlet which gives a list of users. In that li list of users, if you try to access how it will validate, we will see that. Let me create a one more servlet which use the list of users Say we successfully able to launch this, then we just add the login. After this, we'll we'll try to access the app slash list. Okay, that is going to print our 
list so we will write some validation code inside of the filter so that uh, we are able to access the code or not what we will do we will uh, check the session active or inactive first we will convert the request in response to the http servlet request and servlet response We will take the HTTP session so that we can check or validate the session object. We are placing via user ID in a session. So we can say about get attribute user ID. That's it first thing. So we can validate here if user ID is not equals to null then we will allow to else we will send back to login let's index page for time being we will print here sys out yeah, we have the sub treatment something. Now let's <clears throat> run this application. I think this one the internal browser has stored the username password so when I try to access app slash list then it is redirecting to index.psp
now it went inside the filter after the filter it is uh, redirected to the csp i think if we have the session active session active in our login for let we are going to keep our user id in a session attribute so now the session is active so it is validating your user id after validating it will has to allow to the this servlet when we click this url it has to allow to the servlet now i will modify this url to app slash list yes it has allowed let's check after logout it is going to allow or not app slash list yeah it again redirected to the index dot jsp this is how filter is going to work and one more thing we have to see about the listener so let me create a one listener so you can have like this we can have the multiple filters to uh, increase the uh, security so for our application we are going to use all these things i am going to create a listener here I will say it as app listener. So we will, uh, you can increase the, you can use the uh, what listener event you want to follow actually. So I'm going to uh, take the context listener. You can also take the HTTP session listener or request listener based on the uh, what type of listener you are taking that. Uh, uh, life cycle it's going to follow i'm going to take the life cycle of the context listener because on startup i'm going to print some statement before the tomcat uh, uh, run your application if you want to run something then you can use the context listener so i'm going to write a code for it let's stop this If you look at your web.xml also, here we will also get the listener mapping. You can also say the annotation. Web listener. We'll see first without the annotation i told your uh, listener will execute before our application completely loaded so we supposed to be able to see the listener statement Here. Yeah. So it has printed the list uh, before our Tomcat says started complete uh, here. In the init body, we are going to. Uh, it has executed. So now, whenever you want to run some db statement or uh, some something property you want to read you can use the the context listener servlet context listener servlet context listener may, it will uh, help for you to uh, do some stuffs before the tomcat get up so next we'll see how what we what we can do to develop a complete application faster by using the filter, servlet, and listeners.